Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for dropping by our documentation to learn all about um, a specific feature of our Divi library that allows you to save and load up custom layouts. So what we wanna show you how to do in this video is to save layouts that you've created, load them on different pages, and uh, really shorten the time it takes you to add um, consistent design elements all over your website. So we're gonna get into all that in this video, so stay tuned, check it out. In this video, I'm going to show you how to save and load custom layouts using Divi. Now Divi comes with a really cool feature and it's the ability to save your layouts for future use. So if you have spent a lot of time building an awesome page and you've you got all the elements where you want it and you've used multiple sections, you know, rows, modules, and you think you might want to use that same layout or template on another page to kind of give you a head start, well, you can do that really easily. You can go ahead and save the, the layout that you currently have, and it will go to your library. And then you can go and create a new page and then pull that layout that you had saved in your library up, and then it will be displayed on your new page in a matter of seconds, saving you tons of time. In this short tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can easily save a layout to your library and then pull it back up to give you a head start in building a new page. First thing I'm going to do is enable my visual builder. And this is actually one of our free Divi layouts uh, that we provide, but um, if you can imagine this was something that you've created and you spent a lot of time on it and it has a whole lot of elements to it and maybe you want to create a similar landing page for your for another website or for another page you can go ahead and save this to your library and and the way that you do that is you have this uh, menu here at the bottom uh, in the visual builder here and you want to click on this little purple icon to expand your settings. And you're going to concentrate on these two icons here, or buttons. This first one to the far left is going to load a, t a layout from your library. And this one right next to it is going to save the layout to your library. So first, I want to go ahead and save it to my library. To do that, I'm going to click this button, this button here. Give my layout a name. I'm just going to call it landing page layout. And I'm going to save it to my library. All right. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go and create a new page. Just going to go ahead and give it a name, call it new landing page. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Divi Builder. So I'm going to click this button here. Now I could do this from either the Visual Builder or the Backend Builder here. First, I'm going to show you how to do it from the Backend Builder. So the first thing I'm going to do is click this Load from Library tab here. This button's going to show a load layout modal here where I can then click this Add from Library tab. And right up at the top is the new layout that I have saved to my library. All I have to do is click load. And there it is. The whole layout has been uploaded to my page. And I didn't have to do anything but click a button. Then I would just simply click publish and then I would be done. Let's go ahead and preview what we have. And there it is. Everything's there. Let's go back. I'm going to show you how to do this using the Visual Builder. I'm going to go ahead and clear the layout. And then I'm going to deploy my Visual Builder. And click on Add From or Load From Library button here. Click Add From Library tab up here at the top right. And that's going to pull my layouts that I have saved to my library. I'm going to find the one I want, in this case, the landing page layout. 
and I'm going to select it. So there you go. Now I'm going to go back to my settings here and I'm going to go back to my load from library. I'm going to go back to my add from library tab and I want you to notice that this little option here to replace existing content. This is important because if you wanted to, you could deselect this and then whatever layout you chose would simply be added to the bottom of whatever content you already have. So you don't have to replace the entire content every single time. This is an important thing to remember. So let's say I'm, uh, I go to the bottom here and I wanted to add, you know, another layout. We'll just choose this one here. You'll notice that since I have this option uh, deselected, this option to replace existing content, I don't want that, so I deselected it. Now when I go back to add this layout, it's going to add it, but it's going to add it directly below the current one. So this is a good way to stack your layouts or add some things that um, you want to build upon as you go ahead and create new pages. Now you know how to save and load custom layouts using Divi.